This is the best bisection method tutorial you'll ever see because the code works. That being said, it's also the worst tutorial you'll ever see because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just hoping somebody will figure this out in hindsight. But either way, let's get that. Don't worry. I'll, I got you guys. I'll put this up in the description so you can just copy and paste. All right. Um, I'm going to start by defining variable. Now I'm just defining the function in terms of a. We'll use this function because it's straight from the textbook. And most likely this is what the professor will use. Put some icon so it doesn't appear in the command I mean one in, as the output. Okay, now I'm setting up the initial values. A equals 0.5, B equals 1. Initial guesses. Uh, what else? Oh, um, we're going to solve the function for f of a and f of g. Uh, sorry, f of b, and I'm just gonna. S we're setting them up to capital F and capital G. Semi codes. Okay, now I'm just gonna. Um, we want x, and we're gonna do loops, so we need like a value, I guess. I think, I think, I have no idea, but this is gonna be equal to one. Why? Because I, it's gonna work, whatever, whatever the reason may be. Um, error. It's the same thing. We just need a value apparently, and uh, for some reason it's one. Okay, and this I know. Um, I'm assuming this is just to keep count of the number of iterations. This is just the starting count. All right, now let's start the loop. While it's in terms of error, so while error is greater than um, 0.5 raised to negative six, um, what do we need? Oh, we need we need to set that x up there equal to a different variable, different letter. So we're, we're using x equals zero. Um, Again, I don't necessarily know why, but here, it, that's just what we need to do. x equals 0. I mean, x0 equals x. Uh, what's next? Uh, oh, yeah, x. This value right here it is, is just half of summation of our initial guesses. Half times b plus a. And now in our if statement, if f, which is um, our functions in terms of our first initial guess, a f f times f of x. Oops, f times times. This is x. Half of the sum of a and b okay. is uh less than zero, which is if it's negative basically. Then what happens then? B. Yep, that b right there. Our second initial guess. B is equal to x. Means b is our root. And f that stays the same. F is f of oh semicolons. G is f of b what do we need oh or else you know if that doesn't work out a is our uh, root and same case f f is equal to f of a capital g okay we'll end it there and um error we need to calculate there error uh, is the absolute value of the original x minus the s that the x that's being calculated in the loop uh, and then the original x again of x and our Number of iterations count plus one and display x. Did I did I do everything? See, looks looks good. Looks good. All right, let's um run. And there you have it. It's point six one five five. And maybe we should semicolon that. All right, that's our error. Error. This is our answer. But uh root okay let's look at the long our format okay and there you go